What's up guys, it's Josh Valenstorm, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Remember in the last episode, we ended up getting uh, Liliana, as our com Liliana and Storm as our companions. We got here to Lothering, we're about to head into the Chantry, so let us head into the Chantry. Let's first talk to uh, Sir Marin here. It's good to see you again, Sister Liliana. Thank you, Sir Marin. Uh, did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Goodbye. Make her watch over you. Head inside the chantry. Okay, great. Here we have um, There's word of Darkspawn Sir stragglers, Donald. But no sign of Let's the go main talk board. to Sir Donald. We are the Who? only hope of protection this village has. I beg your pardon. I, I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. I was hoping to meet Arleman, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? We use help against Tan Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tan Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tan has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. If Loghain is involved with the Arl's illness... The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Ah, oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. The request for ashes has brought you here? I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I'm sorry for you. I dealt with the bands that killed Thank him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. And when the Maker spoke, the chant of light scattered in the darkness. The words all right, I need to find... Let those who cry out from the shadows come. Sir, refugee, refugee. And the chest for Liliana. Oh, I'll give that to her. She will like that. The bronze symbol of Andraste. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch to myself. Actually, no, I'm gonna go. I'm going to switch to myself this way. <laughs> I'm going to find Liliana. And I'm going to give her the bronze symbol of Andraste. I. That's a wonderful thought. I believe that uh, Morrigan wants the tribal necklace. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Thank you. Well, let us continue on. I will first loot the bookshelf. Go. And 
Then There's more documents of refugees here. To the black city in heaven. And then shall the chant of light Templar make and it another. Yeah. Another temple I can't seem to interact with. Let's see if I can, if I can interact with this one. You, Miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. Oh, that was really all it was for. That was not that enlightening. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I have nothing to offer. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you then? I'm a Grey Warden. I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Outlaws? What do you mean? <laughs> you have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Perhaps I should... Yep. Can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else... Perhaps I should go. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Let us head on out. Eleven. But those who have sinned, be forgiven. There it is, Sir Bright. I need... Yes, who might you be? I am the Grey Warden Duran. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though, just in case. I'm about those bandits outside the village. <laughs> Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? They won't bother you again. I killed them. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. Will you accept a small reward for your service? I could keep an eye out for trouble for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I'm needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Any other offer? Is there any other help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so... Take what you need. I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's actually in here. And enduring perseverance. And then shall the maker return to us. And anything good in here? Elf fruit and the health potion. Then shall not the maker great, return but it's to not the black awful. city in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. All right, let us uh, depart from the chantry again.
Okay, so let's just let us head out here again. We'll probably go and talk to the uh, the sister um, over this bridge here. The one who uh, has tell the, me uh, something, Lauren. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. That's an elder mother. You've got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Actually, I was more hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I don't, but my friend does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. How many does she how many does she need? Let's check this quest. Three. I think we can do that. What? I'm gonna first move that over here though. Let's make three. And there we go, that should be good enough for her. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I don't need them, here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I will actually go back and make a, number, a few more. Because, <laughs> I mean, health bonuses are very useful to have around. Now that I have 14 of them, that's going to be good. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. I do not seem a refugee. The carnage we left in the wilds was horrifying. Who is this? Talk to Sten. You aren't one of my captors. I have nothing to say that would amuse a dwarf. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner who put you in here. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. <laughs> I'm Durin, pleased to meet you. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. <laughs> I suggest you leave me to my fate. I find myself in need of skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? I'm sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden, then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the Revered Mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll leave just for now. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not oh. even a murderer. <clears throat> Let's go talk to the Chantry, talk to the Revered Mother, and get in get him out of that cage. Hmm. 
Let's go ahead and you're into the Chantry again. Go talk to the revered mother. Yes. What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Sten, the Quan the Quanary you've Quanari you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the maker. Why does he interest you? When I'm freed, I might have use for him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I think you should... I think you shouldn't... I was thinking you might release him into custody. I don't think he would go and intimidate a priest. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, your reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. And there we go. Go to Lothering. Let's go talk to Sten again. Tell him he is free and he is with me. So, you truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe had? You wish something more of me? I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. The matter you can be free perhaps we have different ideas of freedom you can atone for your crime by assisting me so be it set me free and i will follow you against the blight very well i will let you and out so it is done i will follow you into battle in doing so i shall find my atonement i uh guess that will do may we proceed I am eager to be elsewhere. I will keep the same party for now. I'll send Sten to go to, uh... He will be in my... He will be where I'm. Um, in my camp for a while. But I'm actually going to be leaving this video up here. Now we just freed Sten, Dr. Revered Mother, and everything. I'm going to leave this video here. In the next episode, we'll probably finish here in Lothering. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to join the team. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Have a good day, guys.